um, today practice is going to be a mixture of yin and yang. So you'll need two blocks, strap and a blanket to protect the knees. If you have any music that you like to listen to, put it on. Or even if you have a ritual where you have um, essential oil uh, burning in the room, it's also great to have that. Um, so you want to make your practice space uh, a space where you feel safe, comfortable. Um, basically, it's your own. So I have today my music on and um, it's, you can find it on Spotify. It's the Yin Yang playlist. So let's, I'm gonna give you some time to get your props ready. And when you're ready, come into um, child's pose. So coming into child's pose, if you want, um, bring your block or bolster in the middle, arms can be extended out. And resting here or pausing here for about three to five breaths as you check in with your external and internal layers. And then begin to reconnect with your breathing. Just get comfortable with it. See how it feels. So you're neither stressing on the in or the out breath, just keeping it simple, natural. And then walk both your arms to your right side. Resting the left palm on top of the right hand. Noticing that extension through the left side of the rib cage. Now begin to breathe nice and slow. Feeling the broadening or the widening of the left rib cage. Two more breaths. And then slowly transition to your left side. Place the right palm on top of the left. And notice that widening as you inhale through the right side of your ribcage. Last two breaths here. And then walk your arms back to the center. Walk them further forward as you slide or move into your melting heart or puppy dog. And again, you can bring arm on top of arm, resting here. 
or extending the arms out, chest to the floor. And slowly bringing the elbows to the ground as you slide forward, coming all the way down onto your belly, making a pillow of your hands as you slide that left knee up towards the left armpit. So moving into these yin poses to slowly open up or create space in the joints, lengthen the ligaments, the tissues. Relaxing and softening the muscles. And then from here, keep your left knee where it is, slide your right arm through. And then your left arm will open up into a twist. Now, if that left knee stays lifted, that's fine. You can always protect it with a block underneath, support it underneath. Gently breathing into the sacrum, the lower back, noticing how it feels in this twist. Nothing too deep. And then exhale, you're going to roll back onto your belly. Press the palms into the floor, elbows bent. You don't need to hug them, just keep them slightly away from the sides of the chest. Press the toes into the ground. Inhale, you're going to lift the upper chest and the palms into your baby cobra. Now engage the glutes here. Activate the muscle. Work the muscle along the spine. Exhale, release. It's coming up for one more round. Inhale, lifting. Then the palms. Exhale, soften. Now slide the right knee up. And then you extend the left arm through, right hand opens up into your twist. Breathe in here. Last two breaths. Then exhale, roll back onto your belly. This time extend the arms by the side of the body. Arms face the outer thighs. Pressing the feet in towards the ground. Inhale, lift the chest and the arms taking the gaze in front. Exhale, lower. Coming up for another round. Inhale, lift. Really engage the glutes. Press the tips of your toes into the floor. Exhale, release. Moving the hips from side to side. Bringing the palms in front. Fingers slightly pointing away from the center of the mat 
And as you inhale, tuck the chin towards the throat as you roll up into your seal. So relax the glutes, let the shoulders ride up. So here you can also softly engage the glutes if you want to, if you feel that there's too much pressure in the lower back. Staying here for about three breaths. And then turn the fingers to face forward, bending at the elbows as you slowly release down, making a pillow of your hands Resting the forehead to the back of your hands, moving the hips from side to side. Bringing the palms back to either side of the chest. Remember, we're moving into now Bhujandasana, our cobra, full cobra. You can take your hands, place it forward, slightly away from the chest. See what works for you to give you the movement to lift up. Marble beneath the nose. As you inhale, push that marble away. And lift, rising up. Soft bend in the elbows, moving the chest forward. Keep the chin parallel to the floor. This is more of a young pose. So you want to activate the muscles here along the glutes, thighs. And then Gently take a look to the back and then to the other side. Exhale, bending the elbows, slowly releasing all the way down. Take about two breaths here into the lower back before we transition into child's pose. And taking the hands, pressing them into the floor. As you lift, gently tuck the belly in, lift the hips, and scoot back into child's. Nice big breath into the sacrum area. Inhale, coming back into tabletop. Soften the belly towards the ground. Inhale, take the gaze up. Exhale, round into the back. Coming back into a neutral position here, keeping the spine level so you try not to sink into the lower back. Neck in line with the spine, draw the navel in. Exhale, soften the belly. One more time. Inhale, draw that navel in. Exhale, release. Start with the right arm. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, thread that arm through. Walk the left hand forward. Here you have a choice. You can either bring that left arm and bind it behind you. Or you can extend the right arm, the left arm forward, walk it behind the head. Two very different sensations that you will find. And then allow the body to soften here. And then walking it back. Press that left hand into the floor. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, lower 
down to change sides. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Right arm extends forward. Your choice, either walking it behind the head or binding it behind you. One last breath. And slowly release. Take your time as you unwind. Lifting that left arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Two rounds of your cat cow roll. Inhale, take the gaze up. Exhale, round to the upper back. One more, inhale. Exhale. Bringing the Spine back into your neutral position, tuck the toes. Inhale, press up into your downward dog, keeping the knees bent. Exhale, lower the knees. Into your cow or cat. Exhale, round. We're going to come up for another round. Off your downward dog, keeping the knees bent. Now slowly straighten that right leg. So release and relax the right heel to the ground. Inhale, lift the right heel as you release the left heel to the ground. Inhale, lift the left. Up high off to the toes, exhale, release or relax both your heels to the ground. Adjust the position here, grounding firmly through the palms. Walk your left leg slightly towards the center line of the mat and then inhale, lift the right foot or right leg. Toes point down, really engage through that right leg. Keeping the hip level. Inhale, you're going to bring that right knee forward. Lower the left knee to the floor. Inhale, coming up, pressing the hip back. We're going to move into our dragon lunge here. Exhale, lower. Bringing the hands to the floor if you like. You can stay here for about three to four breaths. Here you really allow the muscles to relax. So you're transitioning between active and soft yin and yang. And you'll notice that how we hold our body in these two different energies, very different. In a yin pose, we soften, we relax. In a yang pose, we engage, we are active. Both doing very different work here, targeting different areas of the body. And then inhale, you're going to press back, join the palms together, taking a lunge twist, so left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Fist into fist or palm into palm. Really begin to start or start engaging here. Tuck the back toes, inhale, lift that back. This is strong, active, so really engage where you need to. Ground firmly through both feet. And then take your gaze to the right, breathing here. Engage the inner thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale, lower the hands down. Step back into downward dog. Lifting left leg behind. 
You want to press, lengthen through that left leg. Inhale, bring the left knee forward. Right knee to the ground. And exhale into your lunge. Dragon lunge here. Two more breaths. Then preparing to move into that lunge twist on the other side. Take your time to prepare your pose. Tuck the right toes, inhale, lift. Engage the inner thighs. You want to try and bring those inner thighs towards each other like a pair of scissors. And then take the gaze to your left. Three breaths. Try not to let your right knee sink. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back into downward dog. Lower the knees to the ground, chest, chin. Inhale. Into Cobra. Exhale, lower down. Press up into your downward dog. This time extend your right leg behind you. Stack right hip over left. You can bend that right knee. Gaze under the left. Up it to look at your toes. And extend right leg in front, left knee to the ground. Inhale, lift up. Now moving into your Anjanasana. Nice breath here. Exhale, release, moving into that lunge twist. Tuck the toes, inhale, lift up. Exhale, humble warrior. Belly drawn in, strong pose. Exhale, lower the hands, step back into downward dog. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Opposite leg. Lifting the left, stacking that hip. And bring that left leg in front, right knee to the ground, into Anjanasana. So it's a dragon lunge from below, we're adding the arms up. Moving into lunge twist. Remember, this is an active pose here. Tuck the toes, lift. Last breath. And then extend into your humble warrior. Exhale, release, step back into downward dog. Mm -hmm. 
knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Make a pillow of your hands resting here. Here and you want to turn the toes out, heels in, moving into crocodile. One more breath. And then walk the feet together. This time bring the arms by the side of the body. If you have a strap, you hold the strap this way. Otherwise, interlace the fingers. Now moving into the yang side, yang session here. Inhale, lift the chest. Take the gaze in front and lift the legs. Keep it strong. Two more breaths. Exhale, lower. Take your gaze to the left. Relaxing. So what we are actually doing in our practice today is playing, you can turn the head the other side, is playing with the energy. Moving slow, soft, and then moving a little faster and strong. Press the hands into the floor, inhale, press up into down dog. And then lower the knees to the ground, keep the toes tucked. As you sit the heels back, this time bring the fingers onto the ground, um, pointing towards you. So what I find in a practice like this is that when we move slow, with softness, we are aware as to what we need to release or relax, where we are working, or what are we working on. And when we move into a more active pose, then again, we become more aware as to what part of the body we are engaging. And then we notice a change in breath. Two more breaths here. And then release. All right, we're gonna make our way back into downward dog. Inhale, lifting up. Right leg forward. This time you'll stay up high onto that left toe. Inhale, lifting, arms up. Nice deep breath here. Exhale, humble warrior. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back into downward dog, change sides, left leg, inhale, bring it through. Into that classical warrior, sink low if you can, engage the upper thighs, lower the shoulders. Exhale, humble warrior. One more breath and release. Step back into downward dog. This time we'll bring the right leg moving it into the pigeon pose. So first staying active here. Walk the hands back. 
come up nice and high into onto the fingertips. Flex the right foot. Lift the chest. And then exhale as you soften towards the ground. Relax the toes. Soften the gear. You can always walk that left leg slightly out to give you a little more openness of space in that hip joint. One more breath. And then you're going to lean or sit back into that right, onto that right hip as you bring that left leg over into the fire log or box pose. Here I like to softly um, flex my ankles. For me, I feel the sensation a lot more in the outer hips. Your choice, you can lean forward. Round in the back if you'd like, or lengthen through the spine. Extend the arms out, soften here. One more breath. And exhale, gently release, extend the legs out, bending at the knees when you wipe them. As we transition now back into down the dog as we begin onto the other side. Bringing that left foot forward. Moving into the classical pigeon first. Proud pigeon here, finger pads, flex the left ankle, lift. Always support, if the hips don't touch the ground, that's fine, support it with a block, a blanket. So in our practice off the mat, we move through activities that are yin and yang as well. We're doing exactly that, but on the mat. So we can be more aware of how much energy we need to use when we are in a yin state and then we lean forward and how much energy, energy we need to let go or control or maybe bring in more when we are in a yang state. You'll notice how our thoughts will change and the sensations changes as we move from one energy to the next. In other words, we're working awareness, bringing more focus, more attention into being aware. And you're going to sit back onto that left hip as you swing that right leg over into the box pose. Your choice, walking the hands forward or staying upright. And slowly making your way up. Bend at the knees, when you wipe them, move them from side to side. And then I'll see you in down the dog. Just the position, you'll notice that as the body opens up 
a lot more, our poses also change in time. We connect with the earth, grounding through the feet. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, bring it through. Lower that left leg down. Bring the right arm onto the inside here. Press the upper arm and the inside of the knee towards each other. Really ground through the outer edge of that left foot. Inhale, bring the left arm up. Over the ear. Breathing here. And then press both your feet into the ground. Inhale, lift up into Warrior Two. Nice steady focus here. Exhale, lower that right arm to the knee. Bring the left arm over. Pivot onto that back foot. Shift your body weight forward. Lift your back leg. Pull the right kneecap up to engage the upper thigh. You can micro bend that right knee as well. Breathing here, two more breaths. Now here we have two forms of energy. Yang through your right leg, yin, relax to the left. Exhale, bring that back leg down, back into downward dog. Opposite side, we're going to bring that left leg. Pivot on to that right foot. Excuse my back position. Left hand onto the inside. Inhale, bring the right arm up. One more breath. Press both your feet into the ground. Inhale, lift up into Warrior Two, Be Pradhasana Two. Left arm down, right arm over the ear. Exhale, bring both the hands down. Pivot, shift your body weight forward. Lift that right leg. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet the left. Walk the feet a little wider. Forward fold here. Micro bend the knees. You can fold your elbows. Notice how the breath is. And then Unfold the elbows, bring the hands down if you want, walk the feet a little wider. Exhale into Malasana squat. So again, support the heels if you need to with the block. Or you can sit on the block. Three more breaths. And slowly release the hips down. So you're gonna take your blanket, bring it in front. 
and you're going to fold the mat. The reason why I'm folding the mat is to protect my back knee. Bring the blocks with you. All right, so you have the left knee bent. You're gonna exhale. Move that leg forward. Inhale, pull it back with the heel. So I'm keeping my leg extended. Couple of rounds. And hold. How are you doing so far? Almost there. And exhale, release to change sides. So bending my right, lift the toes. And as you move the blanket away from you with the heel, and then pull it back with the heel. Make sure the core is engaged when you pull it back. You may not see my leg, that's fine. And exhale, release. Okay. So, we're going to move into the frog here. You want to fold your mat on either end. Really protect the inside of the knees. So cushion it with the blanket. Shift the hip back. The toes can point away from each other or towards each other. Last two breaths. And slowly release. Tap your toes, sitting back onto. Last pose for today, before you move into Shavasana, would be the snail. I quite like it because it really works the whole of the lower back. Now, always use blankets to support or protect the neck, the shoulders. So I'm going to first roll my mat to bring it a little, to give it a little height. And then I place another blanket on top. So I'm going to show it to you. Moving into the snail pose. So you're going to lie down after rolling the mat. Keep the knees bent. Support your lower back here.
and then slowly lower the hands to the floor draw the core in take your time as you lower the bum towards the ground pause here for a bit And then you'll use your block here to come into fish pose. Move back. And lower here, bring the soles of the feet together. And take as much time as you need to in this pose. When you've spent five to eight breaths in the fish pose, then you will release it into your shavasana. I'm drawing my palms together as I bring them to the forehead for right thought, lips for right speech, heart for right intention. Closing the practice with a cleansing breath, inhale and exhale. 